account department government polytechnic ahmednagar today we are discussing mobile phone unit part 2 in part 1 we are discussing the different parts in a mobile phone different block diagrams in mobile phones uh, in this uh, presentation we are discuss that there are different uh, the remaining sections in mobile phone that is frequency synthesizer logic section control section and advantage and dip, uh, disadvantage of mobile phone this is a general block diagram of frequency synthesizer section in mobile phone in this block diagram uh, there are mainly are four five blocks the upper parts and below parts the main is the reference oscillator which generate the uh, constant frequency with the help of prescaler phase detector uh, low pass filter voltage control oscillator and the frequency mixer which gives the output Uh, pass to the carrier to frequency modulator in transmitter the below sections output pass uh, transmit to the first receiver sections that point we can discuss in a transmitter receiver section in a already discussed in a transmitter receiver section in mobile phone in next part we can discuss the detail uh, we can say the working of frequency synthesizer That is what is the function of prescaler, low pass filter, VCO, frequency divider. The above blocks are re repeated in a below blocks. A frequency synthesizer is the means by which many discrete frequencies are generated from one or more fixed reference frequencies. The reference frequencies are stable and spectrally pure frequency, typically generated from a piezoelectric crystal. frequency scaling means for scaling the frequency of said second local oscillator signal to produce a transmit offset signal a phase detector which is we already seen which is present in a upper and below sections a phase detector for comparing the output of said frequency divided to a reference frequency signal and for generating a tuning signal to said main vco which is voltage control oscillator based on said comparison a loop filter at the input side of this we already seen that block in a uh, frequency synthesizer for filtering said tuning silt uh, for filtering said tuning signal tuning signal which we can generate with the help of phase detector then the pll phase looped loop is a feedback system that includes a vco phase detector and low pass filter within its loop its purpose is to force the vco to replicate the track the frequency and phase at the input when in lock the vc output can be used as a local oscillator or to generate a clock signal for a digital signal the phase locked loop is a feedback system which is uh, which consists vco and filter also it means for lowering the frequency of said first local oscillator signal prior to being divided by said frequency divider such that the bandwidth of said loop filter can be selected so as to minimize the settling time of said main vco voltage control oscillator without a concurrent increase in output noise when hoping the frequency of said first local oscillator signal between the transmit and receive operation that is part of upper sec uh, upper and lower section upper section of signal pass to the frequency mixer it gives the signal to the carrier section of transmitter the lower section signal pass to the receiver section of mobile phone that we are seen in a frequency synthesizer in a mobile phone next we are discuss about the logic section present in a mobile phone it is a Uh, main part in a mobile phone all parts are important in mobile phone logical it means the logically thinking about the calls or data coming towards a mobile phone which consists of cpu we can say it is a microprocessor input output interface means cpu are connected with the data bus and address rom ram nam pneumatic access memory or number access memory you can say random access memory read only memory and again control logic that we can again discuss in a next part this is the embedded microchip consists this all parts in a one microchips 
that we can say that processor in a mobile phones it is made up of an embedded microprocessor with both the rom and ram plus additional circuit used for interpreting signals from mtso and cell site and generating control signal for the transmitter and receiver a cellular radio contain a programmable read only memory chip called number assignment module nam or pneumatic assignment module the nam contains the mobile identification number or mi that is whatever the number we are used that is 98 series or plus 91 that all numbers situated in a number assignment module which is the telephone number assigned to the unit the nam prom is burned when the cellular radio is purchased and the mian is assigned the mobile identification number is assigned the chip allows the radio to identify itself when a call is initiated or the radio is interconnected by the mtso radio means frequency signals all cellular mobile radios are fully under control of the mtso we already say mtso is a main or heart of the cellular system the mtso sends a serial data stream at 10 kbps through the cell site to the radio to control the transmitter receiver frequency and transmitter power to the mobile phone the mtso monitor the receiver cell signal strength at the cellular radio by the way of rssi we already say in the previous part that is rssi means received signal strength indicator it monitors the transmitter power level and these are transmitted back to the cell site and mtso audio tones are also used for signaling purposes if the radio signal strength is will get decreases the logical section part gives signal to the mtso and mtso provide the power to the mobile phone it is all work of logical sections in a mobile phone next part that is called as control section in a mobile phone that control sections means whatever the keypad we are using uh, speakers sometimes nowadays we are using the light uh, power amplifiers is all uh, parts we can call as an control parts in a mobile phone that is lcd display we can now is a touch screen display uh, other indicators uh, charging indicator um, these are called as these all parts are connected to the microprocessor in a logical sections the control it contains handset with speaker and microphone it also contains a complete touch tone dialing circuit it is operated by a separate microprocessor drivers the lcd display and other indicator it also implements all manual control functions the microprocessor memory permits storage of, of often call numbers and an auto dial features the demodulated signal coming from the receiver is amplified by an audio amplifier and applied to the loudspeaker whereas the electrical equivalent of voice signal is produced by the microphone and amplified by the audio amplifier this signal act as the modulating signal and applied to the modulator these are all different sections we are seeing a mobile phone part 2 some of the advantage everyone knows the different advantage of mobile phone main advantage is for calling purposes complete the these devices have complete change in the way of life and interact giving us convenient means of calling sending text message reading emails playing games as well as reading and editing documents on the phone some are the disadvantage also having with the mobile phone these are the disadvantages are uh, if you are using the long durations mobile uh, phones that is radio or frequency layers the transmitting the signals to the mts or base station that creates some disadvantage maybe in medical terms brain cancer will be found out increased stress levels stress level weakness immune system chronic pain if you are continuously using the phone that time may be the chronic pain happen in our body eye or vision problems if sometimes we are using in a night vision we are using the mobile phone that times it create the problem on our eyes in the sleeps germs Uh, then uh, nowadays the covid sir happens so uh, the covid uh, particles are also situated on mobile phone that's why uh, with the help of this uh, presentation i can say you 
to uh, clean your hands whenever you are using the mobile phones impress uh, your thinking process these are the disadvantage of mobile phones thank you very much for patiently listening this my sessions